Hello guys and welcome back to some more uh what's it called? Control. Last time we were here we did some sick you know, some missions. But now oh god, hello. Where you at or All right. Nope. There we go. Okay. Anyway, so I think, first off, before what we should do, is we should actually upgrade our gun. Astral Construct, Weapon Forms, Upgrade, Grip. Especially since we have all this now. I mean, honestly, we can upgrade both the spin and the grip. So, non-standard. Oh, and I could upgrade the charge. Shame on the shatter though. The shatter is actually pretty good. But, honestly, in my opinion, that was the only thing that I actually gave a shit about. Was this bitch. Anyway, now that we actually have that, let's actually put down the flat damage that I wanted to put down on it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, flat damage. There we go. So we got... Yeah, look at... As soon as we get uh, an absolute, then the grip is absolute. Did I get... No, sadly I did not. Anyway. We got another case file. Oh, we got a few case files. Oh, yeah, we have all these things. We completely forgot about them. Human hand chair. Altered item 63-KE. Containment procedure. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. Description slash altered effect. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms the seat with the fingers eight acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with the force of expunged. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, although too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Background. Found in a warehouse at Expunged Omni. <clears throat> a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced fuel agent, were dispatched to investigate the local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. See case PAI-6122 for details. Alright. <clears throat> now, Paper Lantern. Ramen Lantern, Altered Item 69, nice, dash KE, Containment Procedure, the item should be kept locked in a cell containment center, sorry, <coughs> the item should be kept in a locked containment cell, any prolonged ex observation of the item should be avoided, description, slash altered effect, the item is a paper lantern known as a chochin, the paper is read with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. Item has an attractive feel that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force of expunged. More notably, its ability to attract a sentient organism with its rich red color and warm comforting glow. Well, that's the beauty of it. It's supposed to attract things. <coughs> oh, this one. Red light. Altered item 49-KE. Contain procedure. 
the object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. Description slash altered effect. A traffic light with three distinct lights. I, really? They have to actually explain? Ah, yes, we have three distinct lights. Not, you know, five or six. It's three distinct. No shit. Arranged vertically on top of it, on each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, or green. Now, I can understand the whole, like, vertically or horizontal, because there actually are lights that are, like, horizontal, and what it is is that it's just kind of a cleaner look to it. Sometimes they would have it, like, on, like, specific rails or something of that sort. But they're a pain in the ass if you're, like, a tall person like me who can't actually, like, look above the roof. So, there's that. I think one thing's for certain, though, is that, uh, you know, could be worse. <clears throat> a popular, ch popular children's game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when we were actually c catching this last time. CCBA 3-316 for details. Is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantly relocated a distance of expunged from the item. Note, there is that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe has been explored and dismissed. Background. The item was discovered at a street light. After a street light at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to attention of the bureau. The item was contained, and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the town's townspeople's perception. I have to say, that's always a nice thing when you can find something to blame it else on and not have to worry about it. So, that's good for them. Anyway. Good old shotgun here. Alright. So... We'll, we'll get two of them, but then afterwards we're actually going to go and work on the, the fun little thing called the main mission, because we have to, actually. So we're going to go to, of course, the three sh shield threshold corridor. I don't know why I can't talk today. I think it just might be because I'm just bleh, right now. So I'm supposed to be lo I'm supposed to be looking for a fucking Okay, so we're here, right? Is there Is that supposed to be purple? Or pink? Oh, what the That's got to be an altered item. What the shit? Okay. All right. What the fuck? This thing again. Oh. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, you kind of are now super screwed, dude. Yeah, you are super screwed, man. I can essentially just unload on you whenever the fuck I want. Holy shit, this is actually fucking broken. Yeah. 
No! You can't tell. Okay, it completed it. It completed it. That's all I care about. I legitimately was trying to save myself from doing that. Holy crap. Well, that happened. <laughs> I mean, I completed it, so I don't care. And the good thing is, it brought me back here. So I'm fine with that. Because <laughs> we actually also have one in protective studies. The fuck? No, uh, virtual this division. Then I think I have to go back to the protective studies. The good thing is, is that we have been making some decent progress, which is good. And I'm very happy about that. But yeah, this gun is broken. I'm sorry, but anyone who says that it's not does not understand how broken this thing is. Okay, what am I looking for? I am looking for a ducky. Wait, the ducky's out? Oh, ducky. Ducky? No, you're not here. Are you over here? I thought I heard it. I'm not crazy. I hear the duck. I just don't know where it is. Oh, hello. Disappearing ducks. Great. God damn it. Altered item number 52 AE analysis, section 2. I will begin by introducing the very next time to the item. First, a low voltage electric charge. Where's the ducky? Hi, ducky. What the fuck? Not playing around, duck. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Ducky. Yeah, stop quacking. <sighs> Finally, no more quacking. <sighs> All right. Now, first off, Gotta go back to that, because actually, there might be some stuff in there that I didn't know about. Well, that's nice to know that that's how we find the ducky. He just goes quack, and that's it. No wonder. Anything in here? No. Kind of surprised. Nothing in here. Really? This was just a pathway just so we can get the duck? Wow. That is, uh. kind of depressing to know. Oh, what the fuck? I am. 
I am better than you. Do not try and fight it, my child. Alright. Back to the beautiful thing of this game. Alright. So we have more case files. We might as well read up on those. Pink Flamingo. Pink Flamingo. Altered item 46-KE. Contain procedure. No unique procedure required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. Description slash altered effect. A plastic pl pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from the underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. Appendix. New altered effect have been observed. See case file AI. 46-D for details. Rubber duck procedures. Rubber duck. Altered item 52-AE. All contain procedures. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safely glo safety gloves are required when handling. Description or altered effect. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms an expunged of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them, quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Expunge entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the ma matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Appendix. Item on loan to the research sector for further studies. Mmm, so now we understand why it's here. Okay, cool. Anyway. Now that we kind of have those done, back to the Prime Candidate Program. Uh, how do I get there? Through security, I guess? I guess through security. So, let's go to logistics. That uh, should get me to security. Alright. So. <clears throat> now we're actually back on the normal route. Which is us going to security. And going somewhere. Okay, well, first off. Again, we have to do a couple of double checks just in case. Because the last time we were here, we didn't have immunity to mold or levitate. So, we always gotta make sure of everything. We double check things. Well, that answers that. Thank you, Polaris. And we got everything in this area, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Fucker. Attacking me, the director? How dare you? Ooh, mirror supplements. So we get more identification for the mirror. Victorian mirror. Altered item 60-UE. Background, expunged. She was admitted to the mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in the 1914. In the 1914. In the year of 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in expunged Illinois. Il agents found the item hanging in the local library. They continued quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Supplementary materials. Date. 
August 18th, 1915. We certify that the case of Mrs. Expunged has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. Signed, Dr. Expunged, or Dr. You are a fucking misogynist. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. I'm sorry, but like, come on, really? No. Oh, yes. It's her fault because, you know, her afflictions of being a woman. That doesn't make sense. That's just you being stupid. Okay. Transcorridor. Welcome to. Oh. There we go. Got another one. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. Hmm. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. P7? I wonder who he's talking about. Possibly... The Bureau needs a director. So, what in the actual fuck am I looking at, dude? Doesn't matter. That worked. Okay. Okay, I gotta kill some more shit in here. What the fuck? Oh god! Creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the buildings.
Okay. Right fall supplement. Hi, huh, I wonder where this that is. How do I find the real one? Is it gonna be glowing or something? I don't know. Hold on. Uh, how do I know what's the real one? There's so many! Like, why am I supposed to do? What the fuck, bro? This makes no fucking sense. Do I have to go up to each one of them? Oh, hello. <laughs> I just somehow know. New hero policy. No more mannequins. Yeah, that's a valid, very valid idea. I agree to that. Alright, before we actually go back to Langston, because I don't know if he's going to give us more. He might. Well... It's no less trippier than I thought. Okay. Well, at least we're in the area where I can upgrade shit. At least my shatter. I don't think I actually upgraded anything but my grip. And let's be real, this thing is a godsend in terms of a gun. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Okay! Nothing there! How about in here, huh? Huh! What are you? Okay. I don't know thought. I don't mind that, actually. So we already checked this room. Time to go and check the other room. Alright. So there has to be a thing that I could use. Well, other than this. They're telling me this is the... Okay. Well... Fuck it, I guess. We don't care about your things, okay? Ability tag. Oh, that's gonna be easy. Just chuck shit everywhere. Don't care for that. Don't care for that. Okay, I'll take that. Why not? I'll use that. Fast travel back to the Panopticon.